So Players Cup 3 is coming up, and I do want to attempt to compete in it. Even if I don't, I do want to try and make a team for it that'll um, be at least somewhat viable. Uh, so with this team, it's a rep- uh, it's a kind of new rendition of what the uh, Winter Warriors team we used was. Uh, I know that that team didn't really perform as well as I thought it would. Uh, I still think it's a really good team. I think I just made some really bad calls with it. Uh, so we have Tornadus here with uh, exact same moveset. Zapdos, exact same moveset. Riddleboom, exact same moveset. Heatran with the exact same moveset. I still stand by this Heatran uh, being good. Uh, new Pokemon, we have Dracovish with a Choice Scarf, uh, Strong Jaw, Vicious Rend, Rock Slide, Crunch, and Psychic Fangs. 204 speed, so that we have speed. Um, Colossal at plus six, which is really, really good. And Dracovish is just a good Pokemon to have otherwise. Uh, and then the newest Pokemon that's kind of not filling the exact same role as uh, the Pokemon it's replacing. Dracovish obviously replaced the Urshifu that we had on that team. Now we have the and now we have an Azelf, which acts as an anti-trick room because trick room was a, a pretty big issue for us, at least in testing uh, as well. So we have Psychic, T-Wave, Imprison, and Trick Room on our Azelf to try and deal with the Trick Room matchup. Uh, so let's get into the battles. Okay, so we are against Dragapult, Coco, Incineroar... Rotom Wash, Rillaboom, and Grimstarl. It's probably an offensive Dragapult then, which is a whole other problem. Um, I really like Heatran here against everything that isn't Pult and Rotom Wash to some extent. I kind of want to lead Torn Heatran with. Rakovish and Rillaboom. So they lead uh, Coco Rillaboom. That's fine. I am going to click Tailwind, Dynamax, and Max Flare the Rillaboom. They have no way of stopping that without fake outing my Torn, but then their Coco doesn't get to really do anything because. Uh, it's not really going to hurt Heatran at all. Um, I do have to be a little bit careful if we don't get our Tailwind up. They switch to Wash. Okay. And we got our Tailwind up. Very good. And Rillaboom will go down here. So now we're under Sun. And we have erased uh, Rillaboom from the face of the Earth. Grimmsnarl comes out. We can't... Taunt it. We are going to Icy Wind and we are going to Overgrowth the Rotom. They set up a light screen. Fine by me. Overgrowth fires off into the Rotom, picking up the KO, and they forfeit there. Good start with this team. Good start. Uh, I know that's just Heatran doing Heatran things. We didn't really get to see it, but I think I can. I'm I'm learning this team a lot more. Um and how to properly lead with it, which is helpful. So with these, like, testing ones, these testing episodes of Road to the Top, where I'm not really trying, like, a challenge or something, I think I'm only going to do, like, seven games, and I'm going to leave in the full battles uh, and, like, cut out the kind of boring ones. Um, or ones that I don't really explain anything, nothing new happens kind of thing, discover anything with the team. That is an interesting team. Uh, Tapufini, Kabalion, Evil, Dusclops, Torn, and Rotom Heat. Very, very interesting. Not something I was expecting to see. Uh, Magic Room is an important person. Have their own avatar. This could be dangerous. Um, they're. Hmm. I don't know what they're leading. I think my safest lead is Azelf Rillaboom? With... Zapdos and Dracovish in the back.
They lead Rotom Heat Feeny. Okay. We're going to fire off a Thunder Wave into the Feeny and switch to Draco. They might just max here. Because if they, if they max here and we go for a fake out, then Rillaboom just dies for no reason. They don't max. Or, yeah, they don't max. Unfortunate. They go for a nasty plot there. That's not really going to matter to me. Uh, we're going to fire off a Psychic into the uh, Kabalion slot. We're going to... Uh, yeah, they're going to switch. Cool. We did a nice clean 50%. Close combat goes into our Dracovish, dealing next to nothing. We're going to Psychic again and Ficious Rend the Tapu Fini slot again. This team has a very commanding kind of positioning. Uh, this Azelf is really cool. I really think Azelf is criminally underrated in a lot of uh, situations. That's unfortunate. Okay. They don't pick up either KO here. We do get an uh, accuracy drop on that Pokemon, however. Uh, we can still Dynamax. They are an unburdened Thievul. Thievul is still a dog shit Pokemon. Uh, we are going to... And fish there. That picks up the... That slot, that is fine uh, by me. Uh, I'm going to send out our Rillaboom. We are going to... T-Wave the Thievil again. We're going to U-turn into the Feeny slot because they're going to switch into Rotom Heat. They go for a Snarl. Does not pick up our Azelf KO. T-Wave connects into the Thievil. Very good. We U-turn out into our Zapdos. We are going to Psychic there, and we are going to uh, Max Airstream into the Rotom. I don't think Thievil's a good Pokemon. Gonna gonna put that out there. I really don't think Thievil's that good of a Pokemon. They switch to Tapu Fini. Getting rid of our Grassy Terrain once more. That is fine by me, though, because our Grassy Terrain still exists in the back. We go for a Psychic into the Rotom. We go for an Airstream. The Rotom does minimal damage. As long as this does not KO us, we are good. It does not KO us, period. That is a commanding not KO. Uh, we're going to switch out our Azelf and go for another uh, Max Guard here. We Moonblast the Rillaboom for nothing. We are going to glide into the Finny, and we are going to uh, Airstream the Rotom. They're going to protect their Finny. If they go for the KO on Zapdos or Rillaboom. They KO the Rillaboom. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we're going to Psychic into the Rotom slot, and we are going to uh, Thunderous... We're going to Psychic the... Hmm. Okay, Psychic the, the Rotom slot and Thunderous Kick the Feeny. Thunderous Kicking the Feeny does not pick up the KO, and that'll seal up this game. I don't think we can win the game off of that. Ooh! Uh, if they get paralyzed on Thievul, we win. They don't get paralyzed on Thievul. Unfortunate. Oh no, our life orb KOs us. Okay, yeah, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, maybe bringing Heatran was better here or positioning better with with dracovish but i do still think this game was pretty good like that that game went really really well for us uh and then we just unfortunately mispositioned a little bit and we made a couple wrong uh plays the beanie not going down to the 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 grassy glide is an issue. I think we probably should have um 
I think I sh probably should have kept the Draco Vish alive. Like when when Rotom left, I probably should have switched out. Um, after the Ficious Rend into the Feeny, I probably shouldn't have just Ficious Rended it again. Uh, I probably should have just switched out there. That was probably the better plan. My bad. My bad. That's a very scary team. Colossal stuff definitely is probably our worst matchup. Um, do that. Torn, Dracovish, Transaptos is probably my best matchup against this team. The moment they switch out Dragapult or Colossal, I need to switch out Dracovish because we need it to possibly deal with Lando and Ensign. Uh, we're not going to Dynamax it. We're probably going to end up Dynamaxing uh, Zapdos this game in the back, which means I do also want to kind of preserve Tailwind. Their team is very, very scary. That's likely uh, Rapid Strike uh, Urshifu. It could be Single Strike. Likely Rapid. They lead Rillaboom Coal. Okay. We're gonna tailwind and switch to Zapdos. Dynamax the Colossal. And for fake out into my torn. They vocalith my torn as well. Oh, okay. Vicious ran there. Dynamax go for an airstream into the Rillaboom. That's interesting that they wanted to target down my Torn. I wonder why. Max guard the Rillaboom, glide into my Dracovish. We pick up the Rillaboom KO with Airstream. Ensign comes out. We max knuckle the Ensign. I still think this might KO. Oh, that is a problem. Well, not so much. We obliterate that. Vocalith there. Okay. So we get to just do this. Aqua Jet into my Colossal. That does not matter. We know that we outspeed uh, a plus. Under Tailwind, we do. Under Tailwind, we outspeed a plus six Colossal. We didn't get Tailwind up. I needed I needed to not knuckle there. I needed to go for another Airstream. I just wanted another attack boost. I don't even know if Air, uh, Airstream would have KO'd the Ensign. It probably did. God damn it. Spectre team. I don't know what the fuck Spectre does, dude. Grimmsnarl, Ensign, Apufini, Spectre, Lando, and Cartana. Um. Horn. Zap Rillaboom Heatran, I guess, is my best play. They lead Grimstarl Spectre into my torn and zap. Get to go for Tailwind here. We're going to Dynamax Airstream the spec. Dynamax the Spectre. Dynamax Zapdos. They go for the Reflect. That still does a mad chunk to the spec. Yay, they go for a Phantasm into picking up that KO. Uh, we get to go into Heatran here, go for a Heat Wave, go for another Airstream into the Spectre, which will pick up the Spectre KO. This is kind of when I wish I had Flash Cannon. I think Earth Power is still ultimately better, but having Flash Cannon would help with Grimmsnarl. But at the same time, Grimmsnarl is not too big of an issue. Okay. 
Heat Wave. Burning the Grim Snarl, which is very, very handy. Airstream again into the Spectre. Yeah. We're a plus two attack on Zapnos now as well, so this Reflect means nothing. Uh, because they max Phantasm, then drop another defense. Airstream picks up that KO. Heatwave does extra to that one. Spirit Break, raising our attack again. We're at plus four attack now on Zapdos. We are at plus five attack now on Zapdos. We need to Heatwave again and Thunderous Kick the Insen. They fake out. That is. Happy Fini comes out. We are not under Sun. Uh, so we're going to switch out into Rillaboom and we're going to just pick the instant slot. Rillaboom comes out switching to rain. Thunder's kick connects into the instant, picking up that KO. They go for a Moonblast into our Zapdos, picking up that KO. We send out Heatran. We get to go for a Wood Hammer. And a uh, Earth Power into the Feeny. And we win the game. Good work, team. Trick Room. We are against Trick Room. All right. Azov Dracovish with. Uh, Heatran Rillaboom. Editor Quinn here again. I did not explain uh, fully why I need to lead Azelf Dracovish against Trick Room, especially that team. Uh, with Azelf Dracovish, it puts a lot of pressure on Dusclops and a lot of other Trick Room setters because I can just go for Ficious Rend into them or Crunch into them, depending on uh, what they are and what they're paired with, uh, to really shut down Trick Room, which is why we need to lead Azelf Dracovish as our anti-Trick Room option. Um, and then... Zapdos, Heatran, or Heatran, Rillaboom in the back, whatever, I don't remember in the form of editing right now, um, is not important to dealing with Trick Room. Okay, so they lead in DD Dusclop. They have a Psychic Seed on that Indeed. They reveal my... my. We're going to go for Imprison. We are going to Ficious Rend into the Indeed slot. They're going to go for their Follow Me. That is fine. And they cannot use Trick Room anymore. Uh, we are going to then go for a T-Wave into the Indeedee and Ficious Rend again, trying to go for the Dusclops this time. That does not work. We pick up the KO on the... They Will-O-Wisp our Dracovish. That is big. Tapu Fini comes out. We are going to Thunder Wave into the Dusclops to try and prevent them from uh, winning the game off of that we are going to switch in to our rillaboom here because we do want to try and preserve because it will do a decent number to a lot of those pokemon we go for a call mine on their feeny uh we are going to t-wave the feeny and wood hammer it we missed that's fine they go for a d-gleam as all sticks around and wood hammer picks up the feeny ko and they will us missing our rillaboom and they forfeit the game off of that. Trick Room uh, dealt with. Regigigas Weezing has returned to us once again. Okay. Chorn Zap with Rillaboom Heatran. That's the way we deal with Regigigas. Probably our weakest matchup is against Regigigas. Uh, Politoed is a weird Pokemon on their team. I don't really get the point of it. Probably to pick up like the win with uh, Parish Song, and they have Glasty in case they go against a Trick Room team because Trick Room is a very good way to beat uh, Regigigas. Um, we could honestly probably use Trick Room, but we are just going to do uh, this play with Torn and Zapdos. We are going to go for a Tailwind, and we are going to Dynamax Max Knuckle the. I think what 
the best case scenario here is they're probably going to protect Weezing. Um, and then we get to go Tailwind, and then we get to taunt the Weezing the next turn. Um, they Dynamax the Bridge of Gigas, we Dynamax our Zapdos. Uh, unfortunately, yep, they will be able to drop our stats and we won't be able to get anything out of it. We do do a mad chunk to that Bridge of Gigas. Hopefully they don't care our Torn, they don't care their Tone. Uh, they got a speed drop on our Zapdos, which is fine. We get to click Taunt into Torn and go for a Max Knuckle into the Regigigas. I uh, we we might outspeed still. 92 times 2? We might! We do. Okay, so Regigigas, not a problem. Uh, Regigigas is gone. They're Weezing, Taunted, which means it's very, very useless. Uh, they go for a Sludge Bomb. That is A-OK -okay by me. We get our ab uh, ability backs, uh, abilities back next turn. Uh, they don't get an Intimidate here, a Prankster here, or a Drizzle here off of this Politoed. Um, so in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into... Uh, um, I'm going to click uh, the, the Ice Move, and we're going to click Airstream into the Weezing. Picking up the Weezing KO there. We still have a turn of Tailwind left, and they have just Politoed and one Pokemon left in the back. It's Incineroar, we get our procs. Uh, great for us, this Politoed is a non-threat now. We get a Thunderous Kick into the Incin. They have to fake out Zapdos here. They fake out Torn. Okay, so we win the game. Thunderous Kick picks up the KO on that. They KO our uh, Zapdos KOs itself, and they Scald into our Torn. We don't really care anymore. We foul play there, and we Grassy Glide the Politoed for the KO. I forfeit. Yep. Very good. Okay, so ultimately, I think this is a better version of the team. I think Dracovish really adds a lot of pressure and Azulf is a really good support Pokemon. Um, I know we don't have screens anymore in the form of um, Draco Dragapult, but we weren't really using Dragapult to begin with. There wasn't a ton of opportunity that I saw that it was really good in the, at least the tournament scene. Um, and even in the testing on the ladder, we never really used it effectively. Um, so I think this is a pretty good addition to the team. Obviously, I'll do a little bit more testing off of Road to the Top, and then I guess we start, um, I, I start working to get this team in-game for Players' Cup. Uh, I probably won't do a Pokemon Spotlight for this team. I do need to come up with a good Pokemon Spotlight for February, because... We have, obviously, the Winter Warriors player spotlight uh, going up this week, I believe is when I've scheduled it. Um, if not this week, the next week. Um, so that'll be that January's uh, Pokemon spotlight. Uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode.